Hello, si Alvin ng inyong tech guide to give you tech tips, reviews, and guides. So, isa na naman tong gaming review. Ito ang gaming review ng OnePlus 8. At para sa specs ng phone na to, available locally, meron tayong Snapdragon 865 chipset, 8GB of RAM, and then 128GB of internal storage. Medyo disclaimer lang guys, ang nakuha natin na unit ay naka 12GB of RAM. Although guys, meron tayong difference in RAM pagdating naman sa RAM kasi guys, medyo tricky tayo sa RAM. Kasi sa mga smaller values, kunwari mga 3GB to 4GB, medyo malaki yung difference nila. Pero in bigger values like 8GB at saka 12GB, gigabytes guys unless talagang na maximize nyo or na max out nyo yung 8 gigabytes of RAM pagdating sa performance in general hindi masyadong magkakalayo ang 8 gigabytes at saka 12 gigabytes of RAM dami tayong article tungkol dyan guys ilalagay ko na lang yung link down below so anyway guys move on naman tayo sa ibang specs ng phone natin for the battery meron tayong 4300 milliamp hour battery and then for the screen of this phone meron tayong 6.55 inch 90 hertz fluid AMOLED display so so ngayon guys, doon na tayo sa gaming test natin para sa phone na to. Simulan muna natin sa unang game natin which is Asphalt 9. And for Asphalt 9 guys, ang ating setting ay naka-performance tayo for this phone. And so far, sobrang smooth naman ng gameplay natin. Pinaka nagustuhan ko talaga is yung screen natin kasi with the AMOLED screen, napakaganda tingnan ng games natin on this phone. So for the next game naman guys, which is Mortal Kombat a fighting game, wala naman tayo again naging problema. Kita naman natin gano ka sharp yung image and gano ka responsive ang phone natin. Next game naman natin guys is another fighting game in Justice 2 and same with Mortal Kombat napakaayos ng performance natin for this phone. Again, maganda yung graphic quality natin and napaka responsive ng phone natin so napakagandang bagay nun for the OnePlus 8. So ayan guys, move on naman tayo sa mga mas demanding na games. Dito muna tayo sa simula which is Pokemon Go. So good news for Pokemon Go player guys, napakaganda again ng ating performance for this phone. As in very smooth naman siya guys and even with AR on, wala kayong magiging problema playing Pokemon Go on the OnePlus 8. So next naman guys, doon naman tayo sa mga barila na games simulan natin sa Call of Duty. So with Call of Duty guys, ang graphics natin tayo ay nakaset sa very high and then for the frame rates naman tayo ay nakamax. In grabe guys, dito ako talaga pinaka na-appreciate ang phone na to kasi with the 90Hz display, napaka smooth and fluid na motion sa ating game. Plus, with the AMOLED display pa, napakaganda ng contrast ng color so napaka immersive talaga ng gameplay natin. Isa pa dito is yung curved display natin so nabawasan ng bezels yung gilid ng phone natin so ayon additional immersiveness pa. With responsiveness naman, napaka responsive ng phone natin so kita nyo naman gano kabilis mag-react ng phone sa kada pindot natin. So for Call of Duty players, guys, magugusta nyo maglaro on this phone. Okay guys, move on naman tayo to the next game which is Rules of Survival. So for this game guys, ang settings natin, graphic quality natin is naka-excellent tayo. For FPS, naka-ultra tayo. For shadow, naka-ultra. And then finally, for resolution, naka-ultra din. So for this game, kaya natin i-max lahat ng settings. And while gaming on this phone, napaka-okay naman ng initial experience ko. Medyo nasa 1 hour mark na tayo of gaming na to. Pero dito nagsimula na uminit yung phone natin. And with that heat guys, nagkakaroon tayo ng mga experience with frame drops. So hindi ko masin sabi if this is because of the game or the software or hardware. Medyo weird lang kasi yung init natin is nasa top part lang ng phone natin. So, hindi siya sa body mismo which is usually 
yung umiinit sa phone. So, pasyentabe na lang for those who want to buy this phone, medyo hindi ko siya masasuggest for long hours of playing. So next game natin guys which is PUBG. For this game, ang graphic settings natin ay naka HDR at ang frame rate natin ay naka ultra. So ipinahinga natin ng konti yung phone dahil nga nag-start siyang uminit. So gaming on this phone talagang makikita natin. Gano ka gano yung screen natin kasi sobrang sharp talaga ng lahat ng details natin. And again, with responsiveness, dito nyo talaga mararandaman yung ganda ng specs ng phone natin. So dito talaga masarap maglaro ng mga Battle Royale at saka FPS games kasi very reactive yung phone natin, very responsive. So, mas maganda and napaka-immersive ng ating overall experience gaming on this phone. And so guys, next set of games naman natin on this phone, una is yung Marvel Super War. And with Marvel Super War, ang ating graphics ay nakaset to very high. And then naka-high ang ating HD mode. And then naka-on ang HFR mode. So playing this game guys, grabe since ang game na to napakatindi talaga sa graphics at saka animation. Dito ko talaga pinaka na-appreciate yung ganda ng AMOLED display natin. Kasi sobrang ganda niya talaga tingnan. Medyo mamimesmerize ka habang naglalaro ka. So guys, playing this game on this phone, talagang napaka-okay naman ng experience natin. Again, hindi na uminat katulad ng kanina ang ating phone at very smooth naman yung run ng game natin. So wala naman ako naging problema with responsiveness. Okay naman yung ping natin at hindi hindi na ako naka-experience ng frame drop sa game na to. And then finally guys, doon na tayo sa last game natin which is Mobile Legends. And for this game guys, ang settings natin, ang graphics ay nakaset to Ultra, HD mode is on, and then finally HFR mode is on. On. And for this game naman guys, sobrang nagustuhan ko din yung experience. Same sa ating Marvel Super War Gaming experience. Again, very responsive ang ating phone. Okay din yung ping. Maganda yung graphics. Hindi na tayo naka-experience ng frame drops at hindi naman uminit na ulit yung phone. And again, given na ganito yung specs ng phone natin, napakaganda ng screen natin, napakaganda ng chipset natin, talagang napakaganda nga ng gaming experience ko sa phone na to. So guys, ayun na lahat ng test natin for this phone. And for the battery, nag-start tayo at 100%. And after a total of 2 hours of gaming on this phone, ang battery natin ay bumaba hanggang 62%. Around 40% ang nadrain sa phone natin. And if i-assume natin siguro na ganito din yung rate natin after another 2 hours, medyo mas napa-okay ng konti ang ating battery consumption comparing the OnePlus 8 to the Samsung Galaxy S20+. Plus. So guys, gaming on this phone, kamusta ba ang experience ko. Ano ba ang masasabi ko para sa OnePlus 8? So, pinaka nagustuhan ko talaga guys dito sa phone na to is yung ating screen. Kasi yung fluid AMOLED display na yun tapos 90Hz pa, sobrang ganda talaga na ating gaming experience. Isa pa dito is yung curved display nga natin. So, medyo wala ng bezel yung sides ng phone natin. At nakakadagdag pa yun sa immersive experience natin. And for gaming on this phone sa ating chipset naman, talagang napaka-responsive sa games natin. So, nagustuhan ko din yun. Honestly guys, after 
after playing on this phone, masasabi ko na mas nagustuhan ko pa yung experience ko dito comparing it to the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. Pero ayun nga lang guys, yung mapupuna ko sa phone na to ay uminit siya after one hour of playing which is a bit disappointing. Hindi ko alam if kailangan lang ng software update nito para maayos yung heat manage, uh, para maayos yung thermal management natin or nasa hardware na talaga yung problem. Ang ma-advise ko para sa mga tao na maglalaro on this phone, medyo hindi ta makakapaglaro for long periods of time dahil sa pag-init ng phone natin. Aside dun guys, wala na ako masasabi sa phone na to. Isa to sa mga pinakamagandang gaming experience ko. Talagang natuwa ako sa performance na nabigay ng OnePlus 8. Talagang pinapatunayan niya lang na nandun na siya sa flagship level at kaya niya tapatan ang gaming experience dun sa iba pang mga flagship phone. Yun nga lang guys, sa ating specs at performance, it also comes with the price. Dahil ang local price natin for the OnePlus 8 guys is 35,990 pesos. And para sa presyo na yun guys, masasabi ko ba na sulit ang phone na to. So for gaming guys, nakukuha talaga natin yung best na quality ng graphics na possible. Granted, 90Hz display tayo at hindi tayo naka 120Hz katulad ng ibang flagship phone. Napakaganda pa rin naman talaga ng image quality na nakukuha natin and very immersive talaga ang gameplay natin dito. Dagdag pa nito is dahil nga sa chipset natin, very responsive ang phone natin. Matutuwa talaga kayo gaming on this phone. Ay nga lang, kailangan lang natin siyang mas ipahinga from time to time. So gaming for long periods, medyo hindi natin ma-achieve on this phone. Pero yun nga guys, napaka-okay naman ng performance performance natin. Medyo may onting adjustment lang tayo for this phone. And para sa presyo niya, if you are looking for a great gaming phone na under 40,000, kasi yun nga, sobrang mahal na ng mga flagship phone ngayong panahon, the OnePlus 8 is a good option for you. Anyway guys, ayun na yung gaming review ko for the OnePlus 8. If you have any questions, suggestions, or negative reactions, i-comment nyo lang yan down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you get updated whenever I post videos. Again, I was Alvin, the new tech guy, to give you tech tips, reviews, and guides. See you next time. Ingat.